Hello World Wide Web, I'm Dr. Shadow, the internet personality with the best hair, back on Panzer Models, Tank Dating Simulator. And... yeah... Pretty sure I know what's gonna happen here, because it's one of the things that they had as, like, the, 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 the preview teaser little image for the, for, the, for the visual novel. It's like, hey, you, would you like to buy this visual novel? We got some stuff like this, and it's like, hey, so I think I know it's coming. You arrive on the beach a few minutes later, and the deep blue water reflects the morning sunlight. And it just happens. As you approach, the rest of the tanks are already chatting in a group. Erwin! She shouts and waves you over. Ah. Uh, oh, so you made it. I, uh, it's nice to see you, Erwin, she says shyly. I almost had to code you with that. Uh, hey, everyone. Wait, where's Sherman? Probably late, as always. Oh, well, here comes the gunny. Alright, maggots! After yesterday's catastrophe, you are going to work! You are going to sweat! You will know pain! And so, as punishment, you're all spending a day at the beach! Threats are going to get ruined in the sand. I don't think this is safe for my transmission, Sergeant. You should have thought of that. The horrible warning of the classroom. That's that's a pretty, pretty big thing to do. If I remember correctly, Sherman blew up the classroom after you ordered her to fire off range. I brought all of you out here to have a nice time, and honestly, I'm feeling really under attack right now. Quit being a little bitch about it, Sarge. Well. All right, all right, you can spend a day in town. What? What? What the hell, Gisigit? Mister Gisigit, what are you, what are you doing? He's, he's hard ass, and you're like, never mind. It's cool. Now, Sergeant, won't Command be mad if we came all the way out here and don't do any training? God damn it, recruit! Fine! Fieldcraft, then! Go on a scavenger hunt or something! A scavenger hunt? Go away! What do you expect us to go find? What do I look like? Your mother? Damn it, recruit! Fine, I'll write you each a list! The sergeant pulls out a notebook from his pocket and begins writing out a scavenger hunt list for each of you. All right, split up into teams of two and go find shit. Don't finish before sixteen hundred. At least one of us is going to. At least one of us is going to enjoy the beach today. <laughs> oh man, who should I help on their scavenger hunt? This is like a choice where, I mean, I could go for Panzer IV, and she's like, you know, really nice and cool and everything. T-34 is like, no. Tiger One, I haven't had any time really at all in this visual novel to get to know you. I had a choice between Panzer IV and T-34 early. You didn't come up then at all. So, um, I'm going to go with Panzer IV. Hey, Panzer IV, uh, do you want to do the scavenger hunt together? Of course! I'd love to go with you, Desu. Uh, great. Uh, whose list do you want to start with? Mm hmm. Yours. <laughs> oh, okay, let's see. Condoms, lube. What the fuck, Sergeant? You look down at your list and read it aloud. Chem light batteries, keys for a Humvee, and uh, ID 10T form. What? Where do we find all of that? <clears throat> right next to the rolls of flight line. What? Right next to the rolls of flight line? <clears throat> 
Hmm? I don't know where to find that either. You know what? Oh, well, let's do your list first. Mine was insane. Hi, hi. Right, well, anyway, let's go. We're finding some Japanese yeses. Back to town. You and Panzer walk up a slight hill from the beach towards the town. So what's on your list, then? Hmm, looks like we need tiny umbrellas, tequila, salt, a lime, sandals, and yukata. Really? That's a hard day's work. Let's go, Erwin. Hard day for some people. <laughs> anyway, I bet we can snag some tiny umbrellas for a good... Erwin! Don't go sagey on this. You're not that dumb, are you? Just get a fucking margarita! Just get a fucking margarita! It's just like everything, like bloop! Right there! This is. Just go to a bar! You, you, you went to a bar with T. with the. Uh, is too! And got fucking shit faced on freaking vodka! I know you can drink! Go to a bar! Get a fucking margarita! Oh. Let's go check. Bing bong dong dong. You and Panzer for walk into the convenience store and inside it looks like any other in Japan. 7-Eleven. <sighs> Funny. He's the same loud as the ones in our town. It's amazing. It's like a franchise or something. Suddenly you hear a shout from another part of the store. Hey, look who it is! Erwin with Panzer IV! What a surprise! She winks. Oh, Sherman, Erwin and I were just... Sherman walks up with a bottle of soda in her hand and takes another swig before waving her mouth and cutting off Panzer IV mid-sentence because she's an American and they're fucking rude. Chipper to see Erwin as usual, eh, Panzer? <laughs> Uh, I... Didn't expect to find the two of you here, though. Where were you this morning? We were meeting on the beach. Uh, I was running a bit late, and then I got thirsty. I'm heading there now. Well, we're on a scavenger hunt now. Gunny's orders. Awesome! Can I come with you guys? Now we're doing this together, sure. Come with us. You should find Gunny. No! Me and Tiger 4. That's Tiger 1. Panzer 4! Ah, fuck it, I'll get both of them if I can. Anyway, point is, well, I'm kind of doing this with Panzer at the moment. Oh, oh, Erwin. She blushes. Tanks can blush. I'm overheating. It's a bad problem with the engine. Oh, so that kind of scavenger hunt, eh? She elbows you in the side. Haha, <laughs> don't worry guys, I should go report to Gunny anyway. See ya! Oh, um, sorry about that, Panzer. I mean, I did back you up on it, and I had absolutely nothing to do with her. I, uh, I just feel the need to apologize whenever anything bad happens. People usually blame me anyway. Oh, no worry at all, I don't mind. Uh, anyway, I found the umbrellas. Let's check out the cafe. But that's a regular size umbrella. We're supposed to find a tiny umbrella. It folds up. It still comes out regular size. Tiny. It says tiny. Right here. <laughs> mm hmm. All that done from outside the thing. <sighs> You and Panzer IV enter the cafe together. That looks... I don't know, it's, I'm just like... It, uh, there's a lot of things in Japan, I remember. Uh, that almost looks like the same kind of seating arrangement from the, uh... Fresh... Freshness Burger. Not Fresh Burger. Freshness Burger. In the, uh... Nagoya Airport. 
So I remember I was sitting like around that kind of angle. I was having a beer and a freshness burger. I was like, yeah. Because <laughs> that was after we finally got back to the airport. That's when the other Patreon payment came in. Oh god, was it needed because we had absolutely nothing. Oof. Fun! Oh, this place is so... So kawaii! You use that word for fucking everything and that lost all meaning. Oh, you're so mean and kawaii! I just love the American theme. Aren't you from there, Erwin? Yeah, Freshness Burger. Oh god, the radio in Freshness Burger. It was weird. <laughs> it was playing all kinds of, of American music, but some very raunchy stuff. <laughs> it's like, you don't generally hear that in a burger joint in America. <laughs> yeah, although my grandfather is from Germany. Keeping it in the family. Ah, the fatherland. And I'm also looking at dating that lady from the motherland. My big happy family. The people, the food, the fiera. Oh yeah, Wait, what? Uh, I mean, free hate. Freedom, yeah? <laughs> right. Am I dating a Nazi? Was a step up. Yes, I do support the right. Why do you ask? You, uh, you know, uh, why don't we just order some coffee? Sounds wunderbar! Alright, let's see. And yeah, wunderbar, wonderful. This is a thing. This is a thing. This is a cat. I could just say, Nein! Du bist verboten! Something like that, I don't know. Alright, let's see. I'll get a green tea, please. You fucking liar! You said you were going to get coffee! Oh. Fuck, another voice! Okay, this is supposed to be an American theme, Chef, so I know what they're gonna do. And what will you have there, little lady? I'll have a peppermint tea with lemon. Also, not coffee! Who cares? visual novel. I feel somehow this is familiar. You and Panzer IV take a seat at a small table and wait for your drinks to be done. Alright kids, here you are! He sets the tea in front of you both and returns to the counter. And Panzer IV just disappears! Oh god! A few minutes later... That was good. Mmm! Mmm, tastes just like it does back home. I thought you said you were from Germany. This is an American themed shop. In Japan. Nothing's gonna taste right and you know it. And I've never been to Germany before, so maybe I should be talking out of my ass with this. Oh my gosh! You'll have to come with me when school lets out. It would be so much fun. Um. You'll have to show me around when I'm there, though. I, uh, nix in Deutsch. It's, it's a, ich has zimmer grosse schlangen. Ich weiß nicht. <laughs> you mean like a date? What? Uh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, uh, that actually went better than I assumed. Oh, well. I'm sure we can find the rest of the stuff on your list if we look around town some more. You ready to go? Or we could just go to a bar. Like, one-stop shop for fucking everything. Yeah, let's go! She shouts excitedly. A short while later. That's better than dot dot dot. Alright, so he found the little umbrella, salt, and a lime. Almost left. Sandals, uh, you got the and tequila. Sarge can worry about that last part. That was the big hint! 
That was the big like, just go get a goddamn margarita, maggots! Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's, I'd say, does he have to spell it out to you? But he did! He did! And they're like, oh, well, we gotta find that A. We gotta find that B. Uh, for now, let's see if we can find the Yukata. I mean, it's Japan. There has to be a place around here that sells them. Because I, I, I make presumptions about countries like that. Of course! Maybe I can find a new one to add to my collection. I just love kawaii fashion desu! I can tell. And it's, uh, mildly concerning. <clears throat> I have a question, by the way. Sure, Erwin. What do you want to know about? What kind of panties are you wearing? Is it none? Please tell me it's none. Students, the gunny, the Craig. <laughs> uh, let's find out about Mr. Gunny. This sounds like it's gonna piss her off. This sounds like it might piss her off because he's talking about other people instead of her. That's like, yeah, let's find some shit out here. Uh, tell me more uh, about the Gunny. Like I told you, school. I told you, school? Like I told you, school! <laughs> He's really just a big teddy bear underneath that tough guy act he puts on. He's a great senpai, too. Also, adequate sensei. Not the greatest, though, so I just call him senpai. He's a really, really good senpai if he's a senpai. If he's your teacher, shouldn't you be calling him sen- Yeah! I was just complaining about that in the last part. So they ha they, they did take that into account? Huh? Never mind. <laughs> anyway. Hey, Panzer. It's a clothing store. I figured we would find one eventually. Let's go inside and see what we can find. Pennies. Lots of pennies. Yeah! <laughs> so, we find out that, yeah, they do know it's the proper thing. It's Sensei. But the girls are like, what the fuck you talking about? This is a visual novel. We get things wrong. That's the point. It's the joke. It's the joke, you stupid shit. Oh. <laughs> uh. You enter the store and clothes line all of the aisles. In the back, you can see some more traditional Japanese garments. And by the register, there are plenty of different choices for swimwear. Man, there's so many different kinds of clothes here, in here. Ha! Huh, let's see. I have that one, that one, that one. She keeps going on, and on, and on. Wow, you weren't kidding when you said collection. I can't help but you got this are just so kawaii. No doubt. <laughs> oh, Erwin, they have swimsuits. Let's go look. Yeah, sure. Why not? I mean, I'm not like that fucking Seiji who's just gonna go be like, oh, flustered and shit. Like, oh my god, there's a beautiful woman who likes me. What do I do? I already asked you on a date and you agreed, so I'd say this is going pretty well. Especially since this is sort of an accidental date we're on right now, anyway. So, uh, yeah. Awesome. You both walk into the swimwear section. You know, I think this blue one will look great on you. Especially with the red and the white. <laughs> oh, Erwin, you're such a flirt. You just want to see me without armored skirts. Well, I can't exactly deny that. <clears throat> it does look really nice, though. How about I try it on, then? I need a new swimsuit anyway. I'll be right back. Erwin's like the best visual novel protagonist I've had so far. <laughs> After a few moments, she comes back wearing the new bikini. Whoa! Oh, hey. So, what do you think? Hot damn, looks fine. I could wear it. Hot damn! Hot damn! Did I see you in that movie? Machten in uniform? Mach... Machten in... 
uniform. Yeah, I like the iron cross on your titty. Nice reference. <laughs> it's that armor penetrating thing, Sabo. Is that an armor penetrating Sabo in your pocket? Or is it really that good? Actually, it's a Sabo. I, I love munitions. Oh, shit. Sorry. <laughs> No worries, just don't suffer negligent discharge while I go by this. <laughs> she giggles before scampering off to change back into her school uniform. <laughs> Still, the writing is just nice. Tank school ain't bad. Ain't bad at all. I'm probably actually just insane. But fuck it, I enjoy this. Anyway, let's head back to the beach. Gunny can figure out his clothing and alcohol needs on his own. You, he was gonna get a margarita! You're gonna bring the stuff! He's like, we got everything but the tequila! It's gonna be goddamn you! Goddamn! Wait, is that. Oh, I can't go back. Was that me or. or uh, was that Erwin or Pan? Ah, fuck it. But I can't scroll up to go back like I could. <laughs> yeah, let's meet up with the others. Panzer IV pays her for her swimsuit, and you head back to the beach together. Like you're riding that tank. Mm. <laughs> Looks like we made it back to the beach before everyone else. Man, what a day. I had such a great time spending the day with you, Erwin. Same for me. Pretty fun to hang out with. <laughs> You're making me blush. You're so sweet. Oh, well, don't mention it. I just got that sexy-ass voice. <laughs> After a couple of minutes, the rest of the tanks begin arriving back at the beach, and the gunny begins approaching from his beach chair in the distance. As he gets nearer, all the tanks begin to laugh. Once he's close enough for you to make out his face clearly, you break out in laughter. <laughs> That's the best I can do. <laughs> Something funny, recruit! <laughs> um, no, Sergeant. Uh, this recruit. <laughs> uh, I was just wondering how the sergeant <laughs> enjoyed his day at the beach. Perfectly well, recruit! Now, you all have the rest of the evening off, but you'd better be in class on time come tomorrow! That means you, Sherman! Hi, Senpai. There's a fireworks festival happening tonight, and the last thing I want is to hear the sound of explosions in the night! Get your shit in gear, and I will see you tomorrow, tanks and recruit! The tanks all begin splitting off to go back to the town, and Panzer IV says, stays back to talk with the gunny. Huh. Bitch cheating on me! Once she's done, you walk up to her. Bitch cheating on me! Whew. Hey, uh, Panzer IV. I was wondering if uh, maybe you'd like to go see those fireworks together. Ah! Uh, you want to go see fireworks with me? Uh, yes. That's why I asked. If I didn't, I wouldn't have just not brought it up or just come up to you and told you, hey, about those fireworks, I don't want to see them with you. It would be a really mean thing to say, but it would clear things up very quickly. He's just like an enemy! It's okay? Uh, right. Uh, it's, it's a visual novel, but you know, an anime has a little more motion. And sound. Let's go! She smiles at you. <laughs> After a good 30 minute hike up the hill, goddamn, you start nearing the summit. It's a big fucking hill, but I know you can hike up some big fucking hills in Japan. Eesh. Panzer IV has been talking with you the whole way, and it's obvious that she blushes every time you look at her. 
A few minutes later, you crest on top of the hill. Do you think this is the place? I can't see shit. I don't know. Uh, maybe? I, I don't see anything yet. Well, it's pretty dark already. He should be starting soon. I'll go sit on this strange square item over here that I'm, I swear is not very likely that they're going to launch the fireworks out of, because that would be very inconvenient. I can't wait! Fireworks always remind me of artillery shelling. So pleasant when it's not landing on your own cities. Uh, right. Fireworks always remind me of my father, who would launch artillery shells at me as a form of discipline. But it straightened me out. Oh, how so? Oh, when I was really little, he would take me out to watch them together on the 4th of July. Patriotic shit. Yeah. Aw, oh, that's sweet. <sighs> yeah, yeah. We've been out in this big meadow near my house, and you could hear the cicadas in the tree line nearby. Actually, you could hear the cicadas like fucking everywhere. It's just the whole state just sounded like cicadas screaming all the time for a few months. It was actually pretty terrifying. I was pretty young, though, so when the first firework of the night went off, I'd get scared and hold my father's hand really tight. It worked, because the second firework went right at my father, and fortunately I was at the right angle at that moment to not be killed by it like he was. Oh, that's so adorable! Do you still stay in touch? He's fucking dead now. Firework is accident. Huh? With your father, I mean. Oh. Died when I was pretty young. Fireworks. Uh, fighting against the plane girls. <laughs> oh, Erwin. I'm really sorry. It's okay. Happened a long time ago. I mean, I know I shouldn't begrudge them, but I've hated flying ever since. Which is why I just fucking swam into Japan. I'm that adamant about it. Well, if you ever need to talk about it, I'm here for you. She takes your hand. Cut! Oh, shit. <laughs> Thanks, Panzer. I know I really should. Ah! <laughs> Erwin, don't squeeze my hand so tight, she giggles. And your other hand is on my ass. But you can keep squeezing that. It's alright. I'm not scared. Maybe I got spooked. So, wait. I'm not scared. I, I just wanted to uh, make sure you weren't scared. Alright. Erwin. I'm 25 tons of steel. I'm not going to be rattled by a little fire. Hey! She squeezes your hand with the force of a medium tank. <laughs> your fingers just turn into jelly and fly out. <laughs> uh. Oh, ow, oh, oh, you not ah, just let go, bitch. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's okay. It really hurts. Ow. <laughs> It must be a man. Pain is fine. My, I will never be able to use his hand again, but it's okay. Hey, it's okay. <laughs> I'm fine. It's supposed to bend that way. You're pretty strong then, I guess. She smiles at you. The fireworks really are pretty, though. Yeah, it, it's nice being here with you. Mm. Oh... Erwin, you're so sweet for this, and you know, helping me on the scavenger hunt today, I was so lost. King Problem Shong is mad, El. I think. Oh, wait. Uh, no, Seb, wrong. It's because the names are all the same color, unlike with uh, the Sakura series, they change the color of the names. 
so you can it, it's a little easier when there's no movement to tell who's talking especially if it's the main protagonist because the only way you could tell was with the, the name and if it adds it's a kind problem Sean is mad it's like uh, fuck it I don't know I, I'm not very good at my German some German auto impressor it's, it's it's not auto like a u g h t. I that it sounds it's it's, it's, it's it's no o u g h t ought space t o two ought to. I know people are like auto, and it's, 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 it can kind of be its own slang auto, kind of like gonna instead of going to. But I still don't see the a because it's not like gonna starts with a like a j or some shit. Panzer Four starts giggling. Oh, Erwin, it's Madel, but thank you anyway. I I don't know if Decker pronounced that right. He's also very bad at German, but give him the benefit of the doubt with this one. All right, uh, who the hell's Decker? Ah, uh, well, you're really sweet too. You, you mean that? Oh, for a Nazi. You know. Well, okay, you're just a tank. I you had the Nazi thing before. Yeah, still kind of talk about it a little. It kind of scares me. But, hey, we all have our faults. No, of course. Well, I... I... She leads in closer to you. Wait! Erwin, I was wondering if... Maybe I could kill you. Kill... Rain! My threads are going to get stuck in the mud up here! Oh well, let's get you inside then. And let's get me inside you. Here, take my hand. You broke it off earlier. Now let's go back to town. <laughs> okay. She takes your hand as you and you both start heading down the mountain. <laughs> After a good 15 minutes of walking, you reach the train station. So it's 30 minutes up till 15 minutes down. That's a hell of a hill if it took you twice as long to get up as it took you to go down it. Then again, you were hurrying on the way down because of the rains. Oh, thank God. Well, at least I didn't get too wet. Uh, yeah. Oh, my train is pulling on in, it looks like. Oh, uh, so. I guess I'll see you tomorrow. You bet. Let's do this again sometime without the rain, though. She smiles at you before getting on her train. Shut up, rain! I'm trying to narrate here! Bye, Erwin! She shouts as the train doors close. <laughs> I should probably be getting home, too. After a long train ride home, you finally reach your station! The walk home is short, but after a long day, each step feels like a mile. Finally, you reach your apartment. And is who is sitting there, <laughs> holding a picture of you. The room is dark, and the moonlight casts shadows on the wall. You sit down on the bed and lay your head on the pillow, shoes and everything still on. Ah, uh, rest. Z. Several Zs. Okay, well I'm going to leave this here. Guys, it's been going on for a while. And I'm happy with it. I think it's a nice little thing. A date with Panzer IV. Nice video. So, what's going to happen next? Is he going to learn the secrets of the tank girls? How the hell did he know about plane girls before if he thinks tank girls are weird and plane girls killed his father? I don't know. 
Or is he just slowly going mad? And he, he's just fantasizing about all of this. Maybe. Maybe. Erwin could just be in a nut house. When will we find out? Next time. If they cover it. They probably won't, but... Oh well.